Hey guys, I'm up here, and today I'm here again in Minecraft to show you how you can make the best automatic defense base in Minecraft. So let's get started with the video. Right, so guys, I think we can get started and see that this is our base. As you can see, it's suspended in this kind of big hole. But the reason why is this one. As you go near the house, this pool of lava will appear. And if you go far, the lava will disappear. This can intimidate your intruders a lot. We cannot obviously, you know, enter the, the base because, you know, there is this giant pool of lava. So this sign says, welcome to the automatic defense base. Click down here, we'll click and we are now caged, please stay still while we analyze your face. So, welcome Simap. He detected that it was me and now it let me pass. Now I created this parkour on the lava. So we have to parkour in, in order to enter our base. One interesting thing about this parkour, as you can see, is that as soon as you get close to these labs, they will turn invisible. So it might be a little bit difficult if you're... Yeah, you got it, you got it, I got it. So we're back here. And you have to know where to go in order to enter because there's no door um, to this base. As you can see, we are now on the back of the house and there's still nothing. So if you're the owner of the house and I'll tell you later in the video how you can set the owner of the house you'll be able to enter through this wall you just have to you know jump right here and boom you will get inside basically right here there's the exit if you jump here you will get outside will be teleported outside um, and you know that that's how you basically enter the house it's this uh, middle part of the pillar you jump on here and you'll be teleported inside a house so as you can see here we have um pretty not not too too big storage area uh, with some furnaces on top that you of course you can do your melting and cooking and whatever um right here we have the cooking area actually uh, these two cabinets which i think look really good uh, you ha we have the stoves here with some chicken which is currently cooking a crafting table This is the first time I've been in 1.12 and as you can see there's the new Crafting book kind of thing. There's an under chest right here if you want to send items and Here we have the bed area where you can sleep. Of course, it's not night right now, but we'll solve the problem later We have this nice lamp which actually emits light we have an anvil, some other chest which you can fill, and this is really interesting, this is a clock. The actual thing is that it is magic, or you know, I, I like to think it as an advanced clock, like a piece of technology. So if you jump right here, it will say, hi Simap. Of course, this will change based on the player which jumps. Hi Simap, this is your magic clock, do you need to set the time tonight? If you click here, as you can see, this, the time outside, uh, we cannot really see it, but it's set to night. Oh, you can, we can see it in the clock. So we can now sleep and, you know, it will be day. So this is really useful if you want to sleep immediately or, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, let me see if I've talked about everything. There's a button right here and if you right click, it says outside cam view. So you can basically uh, look through a camera placed outside a building and I'll tell you where it is. There is actually two of them, one here and one here. And pressing that button, you'll be able to watch through this camera. So let me actually do this trick and right click here. As you can see, we're looking through this camera here. After some seconds, you will be brought back to the inside. Okay, right here, 
in the outside of the building you can if you press this button you will be the owner of the house you will get a tag which basically determines that you're the owner if you right click here um, basically you will not be the owner anymore and the system will try to you know stop you for from entering the house so if you've thought maybe I can use some TNT or I can use a creeper for example uh, let me grab a flint and steel you can't basically as soon as you you know place the TNT and ignite it it will explode but no damage will be dealt to the, the blocks same with a creeper it will be invulnerable this also prevents uh, fireballs which are shot by ghasts so there is no way to actually uh, blow up blocks or anything I'll show you what happens if you're not the owner of the house here um, when you're it's de detecting your face you'll be killed afterwards so you will not be able to enter in this case I had my spawn point uh, set here because I slept in this bed so that's why I entered oh another thing I was about to forget if you're into an intruder so you're not the owner of the house when you get near the house you will get a mining fatigue effect so you can you will not be able to mine any block even if you have the like strongest pickaxe in the world not even a button okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this automatic defense base if you did please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so that's it for me i'll see you in the next video bye bye